Jan 19, 2005, East Rutherford, New Jersey, USA, New Jersey Nets forward Vince Carter, 15, on the sideline, Luca Pozzola USA Today Sports. The Brooklyn Nets announced that they would retire Vince Carter's number 15 jersey at the Barclays Center, a tribute that will follow his Hall of Fame enshrinement later this year. Carter was a net from 2004 to 2009, averaging 23.6 points per game and cementing himself in Nets history with numerous appearances on statistical category lists. As we celebrate VC's legacy in the NBA, and specifically with Brooklyn, let's take a look back at Carter's three best performances with the Nets. The magnitude of this game for both sides was otherworldly. In his return to a hostile Toronto crowd after getting traded mid-season, VC shined when the lights were brightest, dropping 42 points with a game-winning shot to break the hearts of Raptors fans one more time. The fans gave him the usual villain treatment, booing him every time he got the ball. VC would get the ball. Boo, VC hits a shot. The boos subside. Poetic. Matching his career high two nights before Christmas in Miami, Carter shot an impressive 13 to 25 on his way to scoring 51 points on just two made threes. New Jersey would win this game 95 to 88, with Carter playing 44 minutes. The combination of Shaquille O'Neal and Dwayne Wade's 41 points wouldn't even come close to touching VC's 51. Who could forget the iconic 40-point triple-double right before the playoffs in the Prudential Center? VEC was doing it all against Washington, being the only player in Nets history to record a 40-plus point triple-double at the time. James Harden would later join Carter in 2021. This game would go to overtime, with New Jersey needing every single stat from Carter. Jason Kidd also had an incredible night, having a triple-double of his own with 10 points, 16 rebounds, and 18 assists. Once again, Carter led everyone in minutes with 46, proving his value to the team en route to their playoff run.